If you just use plain cement, you will never get high strain concrete because it generates too much heat. When cement hydrates, it's an exothermic reaction. It generates heat. That heat destroys the strength of the concrete, believe it or not. This is Cass Bignacki. He's the chief of material engineering at the Port Authority's concrete testing lab, which tests concrete for use in capital construction and maintenance projects. The concrete mixes that we produce uh, typically have more aggregate in them, less cement paste. Uh, we train air in them so that they're free store durable, and we pay strict attention to how the concrete is batched and what we get. The samples tested are meant to withstand tremendous pressure and intended specifically for the Gothels and Bayonne Bridge projects currently underway. Well, we build a bridge, we wanted to be there for 100 years. You know, that's not the same requirement for someone's sidewalk or driveway or foundation. And the specimens stay in here for 28, 56, 90 days, whatever the requirement is. When the, when the cylinder breaks in this fashion, that means it was made properly and tested properly. And this broke at 11,000 PSI. It was designed for 9,000. That's typically what you would expect if you're designing it for 9,000. You over-design to minimize poor breaks. In addition to concrete, the facility also tests asphalt, sand, and soil. And in 2008, their test findings were presented to the city building department for a change in concrete mixtures using less cement and more mineral additives for a stronger composition, the same that will be used for the Staten Island Bridge project. And some of the work that we, we did in, this, in our lab here uh, had an impact on revising the New York City Building Code. The payback is cheaper concrete and concrete that is less injurious to our environment. Again, every ton of cement produces a ton of CO2. So if you can get the cement factors down, you get the CO2 down and it also produces more economical cement. So we shared this with the Department of Buildings, and as a result of the work that we did here, the, 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 uh, the building code for New York City was changed, and those requirements were eliminated. There are no minimum cement factors in the New York City building code.